honestly, I think that that's one of the biggest problems that we have is people want to look at and complain about what we can see and not the thing that's behind that. So last week I did a video talking about Game Pass and how it's one of the things that's kind of ruining gaming because of the rental style service. It's ruining ownership. Obviously we can see with models like this in the past with Spotify and Netflix and so many things that have come before it in different industries, Game Pass has reduced the amount of money on the back end that a lot of people can get. A point that I didn't exactly touch on the best, but I alluded to it in the video. So let me clarify that point here. However, this week I wanna talk about something that somebody left a comment about, and let's get into that right now. So in that video from Woke Isn't Awake, you are wrong and you should talk about it. Xbox didn't destroy gaming, DEI did. Lack of sales drives up prices to make up for lost revenue. That's why prices are going up. Everyone is losing money. Oh boy. So. Let me talk about DEI really quickly and why I don't like to talk about it here on the channel as much as the 5,000 other channels that upload 17 videos a day about DEI. Here's the thing, is it a problem? Yes. Is it the thing that's causing all of this to happen? No, it is a symptom. And I wanna talk today about three things that are worse than DEI in the gaming industry. So first up, the Hollywood connection. Now, for a couple of decades, we have seen the gaming industry want to emulate and be like Hollywood. Whether that is the movification of games, that is not a word, I understand, but basically games became more cinematic, more stories that you just kind of went with versus actual mechanical things that you had to conquer and get good at in order to become the best at it and beat the game. Again, that has happened. Now, if you go, what do you mean? Gaming doesn't want to be like Hollywood, then why is it that in the last 10 years we have seen in the gaming award shows the most atrocious freaking Hollywood representatives come in and try to be gamers. I mean, Vin Diesel and the other female actor from Fast and Furious came in and they were like, hello, fellow gamers. I mean, how many award shows have we seen where the Hollywoodites have come in because they were paid to do it to try to represent gamers everywhere and universally, like most of the time, it's freaking hated. I think the only time that it wasn't hated was when Keanu Reeves came out to talk about cyberpunk. And obviously you get the famous meme, I love you, and he goes, I love you more, or however, or is it, you're great, he says, no, you're great. Obviously Keanu Reeves is a gem, everybody realizes he's a gem, we won't get into that. But again, the, Holly, the, the Hollywoodizing of the game gaming industry is one of the biggest things here. The reason that it is, and the reason that this is more important to me than DEI is because this is the source of it, right? This gets back to closer to the source. And that is the status. They want status. These people work hard. Obviously the gaming industry pulls in more money per year than Hollywood could hope to do in like 10. I'm just using that as an example. I know the numbers are very different than that, but you get what I mean. Gaming industry pulls in so much money, Hollywood wishes they could. Now, for some reason, there seems to be this self-conscious thing in the gaming world amongst developers and producers and all that, that they wanna have that status. They wanna be looked at like Hollywood stars. They wanna be seen palling around with all of these socialites in the Hollywood sphere. And you have seen that for the last decade. And honestly, this is one of those things because, oh, if we wanna be like them, we need to talk like them, we need to act like them, we need to present ourselves like them. And that right there, that mindset leads me into the next thing. The over bloated game development companies. Now, for those of you who don't know, there are plenty of YouTube videos out there that talk about this. And that's part of the reason that I'm not cutting in a lot of footage today. I'm gonna talk about it. If you guys wanna look up, there are so many videos out there that cover a lot of what is happening. And if you guys wanna go look that up for yourselves, go for it. If you just wanna trash me in the comments like you did last week, go for it. But the fact of the matter is, is these game development studios that used to operate at usually less than 100 people are now operating well over that. And in some cases, is operating well over 250 people. I mean, look at the studio that put out, I mean, the Arkham games. They started out with like 75 people, I think, for the first Arkham game, and they ended up in Suicide Squad with over 250 people. 
what we're seeing right now is we got too many cooks in the kitchen and all of those cooks in that kitchen want to be recognized, want to be understood to be, again, a part of that Hollywood elite, right? Because they need that status. They need you to know how good they are and how righteous they are and this, that, and the other thing. And when you start getting people that their mission is to self-aggrandize themselves and the industry just starts hiring more and more and more of these people, and all of this started before DEI, keep in mind. Because again, this is one of those things that led us here. Honestly, that's more important to me than DEI, right? And the reason that it is, is because it leads to it right? If we're going to get rid of the sickness, we need to identify the virus, not the symptoms. Moving on. The final thing that I want to talk about today is something that is really disheartening for the AAA world, especially to gamers. And this is something that I've said on my streams many times. It's something that I've said in videos many times. But the fact of the matter is, gamers, you don't pay the bills for these companies anymore. Most AAA companies are now traded on the <clears throat> public market, right? The stock market. You see all these investment firms coming in, some of them with access to trillions of dollars worth of money. And these investment firms are the ones that are kind of laying down the law and saying, look, you need to do these rules. And you can see it in their bylaws online. And all of a sudden, within the last you know 10 years, we've seen these companies come in and start absorbing entertainment properties, industries, and so on and so forth. And taking over. Because if you want a little bit of our money, that trillion dollars worth of assets that we have access to, well, you need to play the game and you need to start playing the game the way we want you to. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't know any game out there that's ever made more than a few trillion dollars, right? A lot of the games out there don't. I, I mean, it's rare for games to crack a billion dollars. And that's one of the things that gamers need to understand. The AAA industry no longer caters to you. Stop asking them to cater to you. They're not going to cater to you. Your pockets ain't deep enough. Now, AA and even indie creators, they do, right? They don't have that access to these absolutely massive investment firms that are just funneling money into their pockets. No, the money that the AA and the indies get is from you. So. As, game, as the gaming industry is as a whole, your safest bet for somebody who is going to listen to you as a gamer is going to be the indies and the double A's. And that's because, well, your dollars actually matter to them. Your dollars don't matter to AAA because you're not a multi-trillion dollar holding investment firm. You don't have deep pockets like that. And again, I don't see a lot of people talking about this. I see a lot of people talking about DEI and obvious, it's, it's obvious when somebody goes out there and they replace a male character with a female character or they race swap somebody. People can see that. And honestly, I think that that's one of the biggest problems that we have is people want to look at and complain about what we can see and not the thing that's behind that, not the thing that's causing it. So when people tell me, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. DEI did this. DEI didn't do it. Not even close. You're catastrophically wrong. DEI is a symptom. A symptom that you guys are paying attention to thinking it's the virus. And it's not. What it is, it is ideological figureheads. And they want a few things. They want control in the form of money, right? That's these investment firms. They want to control what's going out there. And then the other ideological part of it are the people who want to be seen as higher up, the people who want to be celebrated like celebrities. See what I did there? This right here is why I don't put up the wokeity woke 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 stuff on my channel. One, most people don't understand what that even means today because it's been so devalued. And two, there are 5,000 other channels out there already talking about this. There are 5,000 other channels that upload three or four videos a day. They have right in the title, right in the thumbnail, right in the title, DEI, woke, this, that, the other thing. And you know what they're not talking about? The companies that are pushing it. And they're not talking about how you should be bullying, bullying online, right? The people, not any more than words, don't go too far with it, but you should be saying, hey, we're gamers. You want to be popular with us? Stop trying to be popular with Hollywood. Because that's the other thing. They want status, they want control, and they want what they want for you. 
Now pick whatever they you go for, but the fact of the matter is, is if you're gonna tell me that DEI killed gaming, dude, gaming's been on a downhill for a lot longer than that, which means you haven't been paying attention. So thank you so much for coming here to my TED Talk. If you would like to see that video that I did talking about Xbox Game Pass and my problem with it and how ownership is affected by it, you can check that video out right here. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.